Okay, welcome back. Uh, this video is to show you what I made with my um, my Joanne Michaels and Dollar Store haul. Okay, here's my first card off. Um, what I did is I took the paper from the little square 6x6 packs. And remember I was showing you that 12x12 12 12 piece of paper with all those things on it? That's where this came from. Dollar Store stickers. Isn't that cute? Next. All these are from the haul, and there's a couple of things from the haul that I didn't use. Um, of course, the 6x6 paper, the little thing from the 12x12, 12 12, and of course, uh, the white cardstock is what I have for my stash. So, everybody has this, you know, cardstock in their stash. This is the next one. Use the thing and the little dollar store sticker, which I like them because they're little foamy stand up ones. Next. Uh, my basic white cardstock, the thing, threw a couple pieces of candy on it, and dollar store sticker. In here, I have the 6x6 pad I cut down on a piece of cardstock, made my own banner. I uh, just wrote on it. You don't have to have a fancy stamps. I uh, kind of basically did this with just, you know, handwriting, my basic handwriting. And then um, my Michaels foamy googly eye shaking spider stickers kind of cool something really simple everybody could probably do this one white car stock handwriting and just one little sticker simple cheese next um this is what i had in my stash um it's a uh, orange card stock so i did the dollar store stickers a strip of what was left over from the spider card Let's see that was what I had left over. I just put it on in the center and made my own banner. Voila. Next is what I did. I took the 6x6 six six, uh, square on this purple one. I cut it in half. So I used it one on one card. Now I'm using it on this other card. And of course right here is this thing from the 12x12. 12 12. And then I had some scrap uh, glitter paper that I just put on the side. Next, I uh, did the washi tape, top and bottom, uh, the googly eye spider sticker from Michaels, and my own handwriting. Alright, and now here's some uh, side opening ones. Like a regular basic card. Oh, well, actually, this one flips forward. Nah, my bad, I lied. <laughs> it's a flip rubber one. Um, if it's not flipping open, it's usually a side folding one. So... This is uh, the 6x6 six six, six six piece of paper that I got from Joann's. And of course, the little sink. I think there was five and three rows, so there should be 15 sinks. So you can make 15 cards. This, really basic. Get your sink, get your little purple card stuck. And inside, I left it blank. You could put a piece, a little white piece of paper there, put a stick it in it. Whatever is quick and easy for you. Next, my white cardstock. This is the 6x6 uh, Joanne's paper. I had three of these. I cut them up into three. And I used the bottom one for the fence. And I used the other two pieces just like this. And a couple other cards I'll show you. And of course, my Michael sticker. I love it. His little eyeballs googly. And next, purple on a purple cardstock. Did this thing again. Some of the little dollar store stickers from... I think it was the ghost one. Can't remember, but and then this is the Michaels um, little spider. Something real simple. The Joann's uh, six by six. Use that card stock on that, and then the saying that I got from Joann's. Okay, my uh, card stock that I bought from Joann's haul, and um, remember the saying, and then these are the dollar store stickers. And see, you would be like, you wouldn't even tell those are dollar store stickers. Awesome. And then really simple, 6x6 six six pad, just glued the windshield onto it, trimmed it up, put this thing on it, voila, simple. This one, and uh, this was a uh, part of the 6x6, six six, and I noticed that I could cut the uh, skeletons in the strips, and I glued them on there, and then I just put this thing on it. Okay, 
Remember um, for my Joanne's haul, I had these tags, and they had three different kinds of tags in it. This is what I'm going to be doing with the tags. And the little ghosts were from the 6x6 six six pieces of paper. I just took a, a die cut and die cut it in little circles, and then my little string. And this is a, a gold paper. Look at that baby sparkle. But anyway, uh, this is from my stash. Everybody should have stash uh, cardstock with um, fancy stuff on it here and there. Because um, I usually pick up Joanne's uh, cardstocks when they're uh, 10 for 2 or sometimes they have them for 12 for $2. But anything for $2, you know, you know, just pick some up and have them in your stash. And so when you want to whip up a card real quick, para there. Alright, um, this is from my um, cardstock stash. It's a uh, orange little... Um, texture bumpy one and of course I did the little um, ghost die cuts from the 6x6 six six paper from Joanne's and used the tag and then some string. This one's real simple white card stock um, my washi tape because remember my washi tape came in had two rows in it and then I used the tag and I just wrote on it with uh, a white gel pen. Okay something a little more fancier all right <laughs> and then Joanne's paper. Remember, um, in my haul, I had the little, um, they, I had two packs of, like, foamy stickers. I thought they were foamy stickers, but I didn't realize this one. Look, he has fur. Full fur. And he has googly eyes. And what I did is I added a, a, a mini wiggle component in there. So he stands off the card, as you can see. And then you can just flick him. And what I did is I used a dollar store uh, sticker. Um, it had a little bag on it from the logo stickers. I put a little piece of paper on the back and then I glued it to his hand. And this I just cut out myself freehand. Wrote on it with the gel marker. Okay, next I got a purple card. Remember I was showing you the fence line that had three fences on it? Use the other fence on this card. And uh, um, Michael's little furry cool critter things. Which are cool. And then I put a wobbler on him too. My handwriting. Not a stamp. And here's my next card. With my next little monster. Wiggly man. You know. I just couldn't resist putting wigglies on these guys. Because their eyes shake. And then you flick them around. They move. They're awesome. And of course. Stash uh, card stock. And that fence background. Is what was from that 6x6 six six pad from Joanne's. And then of course. My own personal handwriting. Okay, next, I have, uh, remember, I had those foams from little turkeys in them. What I did is I took my cardstock, and then I went, got the 6x6 six six pad, cut the pad, put it to it, and then, but before I put it to it, I cut the circle out. And then this was a scrap piece left over, I just wrote it in my handwriting. And I should have put a wiggly on him, but his eyes didn't move, so it didn't make it fun. So, simple Thanksgiving card. Here's another Thanksgiving card from that 6x6 six six, uh, pad that I picked up at John's. And then, of course, my own handwriting. Same concept, but just different kind of pad paper. And then this is a real simple one. Basic white card stock. Um, the washi tape. And just a sticker. And what I did was I just took a basic pencil and the shade it underneath him. Because you don't want him free-floating. You want him to be kind of stabilized, so it gave him a little shadow right there. Last but not least, here's my last card. Um, it's a Thanksgiving card, really simple. I used the brown uh, card stock from the 6x6 pad. And remember when, um, where's that turkey orky one? I told you I cut out that paper, that circle. I flipped it over and I used the white side and I just used the uh, circle here. Then I adhered him to the circle and then the circle to that. All right, you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, hope it's informational. If you like the card, you know, you could pause this, look at it, and they're really simple. Um, you know, if you ever go to Joanne's, um, Miss Sparkle is um, the lower end. It's a more of a cheaper brand of scrapbooking, which is really great. I love their products. Um, like I said, go to Michael's, see what they got. Um, our stores don't really have a lot, so you guys probably have a lot more stuff. So just go to your local stores, uh, check them out, see what they got, and have fun. I uh, hope these ideas helped you, and um, you know you can pause it, and then you could kind of basically pick it apart and s make your own cards. Um, I hope this is inspirational, and like I always say, do what makes you happy. All right, catch y'all later. Bye.